Some of the 16 and 18 cubic foot refrigerators use a mechanical ice maker, while others use the new electronic model. Here, we'll take a look at the mechanical model and how to put the ice maker into a service mode. To advance the mechanical ice maker into a service mode, use a small flat bladed screwdriver and turn the small cam in a counterclockwise direction, as seen here. Also note the adjustment screw utilized in the event of low water pressure in the customer's home. You will see corresponding plus and minus arrows to indicate which direction to turn the screw to increase or decrease the water level. The speed of the service mode in this video has been enhanced for the purpose of training. Once a service mode is completed, check the water level inside the ice maker mold to see if any adjustments are necessary. To remove the ice maker, simply loosen the two screws on the left hand wall of the freezer and lift the ice maker up and out. To disconnect the plug, note the locking tabs and use a small flat bladed screwdriver to release and remove the plug. The locking tabs are there to prevent the ice maker plug from accidentally disengaging by itself. On the electronic ice maker seen here, you can enter the service diagnostic mode during the first 15 seconds that power is first applied to the ice maker. The service mode is entered by powering up the ice maker and then pushing the feeler arm in and back out three times, and only three times, within 15 seconds. After a few seconds, the service mode will begin, and unlike the mechanical ice maker, the electronic ice maker adapts itself to low water pressure so there is no water fill adjustment for the technician to make. For more detailed information about this ice maker, refer to Service Manual 319063. To remove the ice maker, simply loosen the two screws on the left-hand wall of the freezer and lift